Hello. Okay. It's another day. So, we were reading Cheater Pants. <sighs> and we're going to chapter three. Twitching. Twitching. <laughs> Can get comfortable. <laughs> All right. Finally, we got to the row right next to mine. That is where Jose and Lenny sit. When Jose's turn came, he smiled very proud. He said on Saturday his daddy bought him brand new soccer shoes. Wow. Exciting. He wore them to his soccer game. He kicked the winning goalie with those things. <gasps> wow, Lenny went next. He said he got brand new hair gel. Whoa. Plus also he got a thickening cream. A thickening cream can make even Cena's hair feel rich and full, he said. Wow, I said. Wow, said Herb, Herb and Jose. Wow, it's what we say to be supported. May sits behind Lenny. She stood up and she read her paper real loud. Mm. This weekend, one thing I did for fun was, on Saturday, I made a pot in my pottery class. And after that, I was punctual to my ballet class. And the teacher said, I dance like a gazelle. <laughs> oh, boy. Mr. Scary did a chuckle. A gazelle, huh? He said, a gazelle is a very graceful animal, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> yes, May said. Uh, would you like to see me do a few steps? After that, she ran to the front of the room. She started to ballet. Mr. Scary said to please sit down again. <laughs> she, she goes again. As soon as she got back, <laughs> oh my gosh, I jumped right up. What is she going to say? My turn, my turn, I said real thrill. I tapped on my chin. Um. Okay, well, let's see now. On Saturday, my grandpa Frank Miller came to babysit me. He let me roller skate in the house. Ooh! <laughs> He let me um, jump on mother's bouncy bed. Only pretty soon I got pretty pooped. And so I ran into the kitchen and I drank chocolate milk right out of the carton. Oh no. Without even a glass, I mean. Whoa, said Herb. Whoa, said Lenny and Jose. Mr. Scary raised his hand to interrupt me. Um, excuse me, Junie B, he said. It sounds like you had a great time on Saturday. I'm wondering why you were not reading from your homework paper. Uh oh. Just then, my heart got poundy and nervous. Because I should have thought about that problem. <laughs> I swallowed real hard. Oh, no. Oh, um, um, well, let's see, uh, I say kind of quiet, uh, why aren't I um, reading, um, Mr. Scary Smile, it's all right, he said, you can start over, oof, <laughs> just take out your paper and read, oh no, read us what you wrote, oh no, she's gonna be in trouble, <gasps> Um, after that, I stood there very frozen, and I couldn't even move. Mr. Scary crossed his arm at me. <gasps> Do you have a homework paper? Don't you, Junie B? He asked next. Who oh, no. I stood there a little while longer. Then finally, I reached into my desk. I pulled out the homework that I copied from May. I wiped it in the air, kind of wickish. <laughs> Here it is, I said. <laughs> oh, no. Here's my homework paper. See it? It's right here. Mr. Scary nodded. Yes, good. Now, could you read it for us, please? Oh, yes. I took a deep breath. 
Uh, then I looked down at my paper and I read it silently to just myself. Okay, done, I said. <laughs> She's been sneaky. Oh, gosh. Oh, my goodness. After that, I quick sat down and I stuffed the paper back into my desk. Mr. Skier came back to where I sit. Oh, no. He said, could you please, um, let me see your paper. I felt shaky and sickish inside. Very slow, I took out my paper again. I handed it over. <gasps> After he read it, he shook his head. Probably going like, oh, no. Then he took my hand. He walked me into the hall. It seems that you and May had very similar weekends. Doesn't it, Junie B., he said. I did a gulp. <laughs> yes, I said it does. Uh, Mr. Scary read my paper once more. So, uh, you take a pottery class, do you? <laughs> he said. Uh, I rocked the back and forth my feet like, mm -hmm. <laughs> ow, I hit my toe. <laughs> Oops. Oh no, I spilled. Oh, I spilled all my paint. Oh, okay, I'll take it up later. I'll pick it up later. Mr. Scary. Oh, I already read that. Oh, read my paper once more. So. Yup, yup, I do, uh, I said. I take a pottery class. And I make little, um, well, you know, uh, pots. <laughs> Mr. Scary, breathe real deep. Let's see, you take a ballet class too, huh? And gee, what a coincidence. On Saturday, your teacher said you danced like a gazelle. <laughs> oh no. Gazelle, said Mr. Scary. Whatever. <laughs> My teacher sucked in his cheeks. And looked at the paper again. And you were punctual, too, he said. That's amazing, isn't it? I looked up to him like, mm, well, um, you know, not if you get an early start, um, I said real soft. Mr. Scary bent down next to me. His face was not jolly. Junie B. Jones, do you have any idea how disappointed I am in you right now? Oh, she's going to be sad. Just then, tears came in my eyes. I didn't even expect that trouble. <laughs> I quick hang my head so he couldn't see. Sorry, I said. Sorry you're disappointed. Ooh, look. She's so disappointed that she didn't have to copy. Mr. Scary took a deep breath. He said, we would talk more at recess. Then he gave me a tissue from his pocket and I wiped my tears. After that, we went back into the room. I sat at my desk very slumping. Guess what do you know? I didn't look out after all. Oh, you can't copy your homework. Chapter 4. Cheater Pants. It's still dumb Monday. Dear first grade journal, right now it is recess. I am not playing on the playground. <laughs> Instead, I am sitting at my desk. I am waiting to get yelled at. I wish I could disappear into thin air. <laughs> if I could disappear, I would run outside and I would find May. I would clunk her on the head. It's not her fault. <laughs> I wish I didn't even sit next to that girl. Because people should never leave homework on their desk for other people to borrow. <laughs> she confused. That is just asking for trouble, mister. From Junie B. First Grader. Mr. Scary was writing at his desk. He looked up and called my name. Junie B, he said. 
I'm ready for you now. Could you bring um your chair up here, please? <sighs> My stomach flipped and flopped. Because here came the yelling part. That's why I did some deep breath. Then I pulled my chair to the front of the room and I sat down next to him. Mr. Scary took my homework paper out of his drawer. He said it in front of me very serious. I want you to explain this, Junie B, he said. I want you to tell me exactly why you copy May's homework this morning. Oh, he tried to swallow, but nothing went down. Uh, well, uh, let's see. Uh, the reason I copied was, was I tapped my, on my chin. Oh my goodness. What is she going to make up now? Then all of a sudden I thought of it. Daddy, I said, it was my daddy's fault. Oh, no. <laughs> your daddy, he said. Your daddy told you to copy May's homework? Yes, I said. I mean, uh, no, I mean, uh, last night I wanted to stay up late to do my homework, but Daddy turned out my light. So, um, he's the reason that I had to come to school without it. Oh, I see, said the, my teacher. Your Daddy wouldn't let you stay up? So that's what forced you to copy May's paper? I know it real fast. <laughs> yes, that's exactly it. Mr. Scary raised his eyebrows. So did May actually give you her paper to copy? He asked next. <gasps> I rolled my eyes at that crazy question. No, silly. <laughs> May would never be that nice, I said. I just... It's just that this morning she kept on bragging about her homework. It's always an A+. Plus. Then she left the paper on top of her desk when she went to the office. That is just asking for trouble, mister. <laughs> Mr. Scary leaned back in his chair. <laughs> so when May left for the office, you saw her paper. You just decided to borrow it, I said. I decided to borrow it, to copy. <laughs> My teacher did a frown. Borrow? He said, no, Junie B, I'm sorry, but borrow is not the right word here at all. When you copy someone else's paper, that's called cheating. <gasps> oh, no. <laughs> My eyes got big and shocked. At that word, because what was he even talking about? No, Mr. Scary, no, I didn't cheat. I didn't, I said. Cheating is when you steal answers of a, someone's test. But homework isn't a test. Homework doesn't even count, hardly. <laughs> but homework does count, Johnny B, he said back. Cheating is not just about stealing test answers. Cheating is any time you take someone else's work and you present it as your own. He looked at me. When you cheated this morning, you broke my trust in you, Junie B, he said. We have a rule about this in room one. Oh, my God. Oh, no. See? Oh, boy. We keep our eyes on our own papers. You've heard me say that a hundred times, I bet. I felt surprised at that information. That's a rule. <laughs> no kidding. I always thought that was, well, you know, a suggestion. Mr. Scary, roll his eyes. No, Junie B, it's not a suggestion. It's definitely a rule, he said, and it's an important rule, too. I dropped my fingers on my desk. Well, I'll be darned, I said. After a while, I did a deep breath. I'm sorry, I said real soft. Mr. Scary smiled a little bit. I'm sorry, too, Junie B, he said, but at least now I think we understand each other better. I will not put up with cheaters in my classroom. I didn't wince. <gasps> yeah, only I wish you wouldn't keep saying that cheater word, I said. 
because I didn't even know I was cheating hardly. Plus, I don't like cheaters either, Mr. Scary. On account of my daddy cheated me at Old May last week. <laughs> and I am still not over that terrible experience. Mr. Scary wrinkled his eyebrows. Your daddy cheated, he said? I did a sigh. Yes, I said. Daddy Ray, the old man way high in his hand so I wouldn't pick her. And then I did. And so what kind of sneaky trick was that? Mr. Scary covered his mouth. <laughs> he was shocked, I believe. I leaned closer to him. And that is not the only cheater pants in my family either. I said very quiet. On account of my grandpa, Frank Miller is supposed to be on a diet. Oh my gosh, he's writing everybody out. But yesterday, my grandpa found an empty pie pan in his closet. And all what that was left was a little bit of crust and a plastic fork. I thought for a second... No wonder I cheated, I said. Cheating is in my blood, apparently. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> Mr. Scary did a chuckle. Well, nobody's perfect, he said. Everyone cheats on a diet once in a while, I think. But cheating at school is very different matter, Junie B. Cheating in school is serious business. Are we clear on that now? I nodded real fast. Clear, I said. After that, both of us shook hands. <laughs> Mr. Scary carried my chair back to my desk. After I sat down, he took an envelope out of his pocket. Oh my God, my back. I need a different chair. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. <sighs> He took an envelope out of his pocket. He handed it to me. I wrote a note to your parents. Oh, <gasps> explaining what happened this morning, he said. I would like them to read it and sign it, okay? You can bring it back to me in the morning. Oh, no, she's going to be in trouble. I did a gas up at that thing. No, Mr. Scary, not okay, I said. Oh, no. Please don't make me take a note home. Please, I really, really don't want to take a note, Mr. Scary thought for a second. Then he took the note back. Well, okay, he said. If you feel that strongly, I won't make you take it. He started walking back to his desk. I'll just call them tonight instead. <laughs> I did a loud groan. Because what kind of dumb choice is that? Oh, no. Oh, gosh. I stomped to my desk and I grabbed back the note. Then I stuffed it in my backpack and I sat down at my desk. And I wrote in my journal one more time. Mr. Scary is a tattertale. <laughs> <laughs> she wrote that <laughs> It was a title day. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop here for chapter five because already 18 minutes. Oh my goodness. Time flies. <laughs> I'll be back.